Hi everyone, today I'm going to introduce Rudinik new product, T16D transmitter. T16D is a fully proportional channel transmitter, which supports different long-range modules, which use defined functions, multiple languages, and many other new functions. And you can see all the switches of T16D here, and red power LED and green off LED. The top support is up on the top. The top support can be used to update the firmware, copy model data, and temporarily supply power to T16D. And by the way, the maximum input voltage of the top support is 5 volts. So when collecting the USB cable, the input voltage cannot exceed 5 volts. And here is the simulator port. And the working voltage of T16D is from 7.4 volts to 18 volts, so you can power on T16D with 8 pieces A batteries, or 2S to 4S deep battery, and we use a 2S deep battery here. Long press the power button to power it on. Welcome to a radio link. And enter the home page. And let's check the taskbar first. And model 3 is in the upper left corner, which indicates the current model you're using. And here is a sign of in next to the second tile, which indicates the module selection. It can be set in the receiver settings, RF settings. And if I select the module into external, EX will appear on the screen. And here is the signal tower. After the transmitter and receiver are bound successfully, the signal tower will be displayed on the screen. And 8.2 volts is the battery voltage of the transmitter. And there is also a battery shaped box to show the percentage of battery voltage. And to show it correctly, you need to select the correct battery type. Enter the main menu, transmitter settings, system settings, and battery type. Yeah, I'm using 2S Libre battery, so I select 2S. And if I select the wrong battery type, such as 3S, the percentage will not be accurate. And on the left side, here is the current flight mode, normal. And the picture shows the current model type is fixed wing. And on the right side, here are timer 1 and timer 2. Move the cursor to timer 1 or timer 2. Short press push button to start the timer. And push it again to stop it. And you can also long press the push button to reset timer. It is reset. And RSSI is received signal strength indication. No means there is no signal, but the receiver and transmitter are not bound. RXV is the voltage of the receiver, and AXTV is the voltage of the model. When using a receiver with a telemetry function, and the telemetry cable is correctly connected, the external voltage will be displayed on the screen. And here is the lock. It is the screen lock. Move the cursor to the lock, and then press the push button to lock or unlock the screen. When the screen is locked, lock is red. Push or mode button cannot work, but you can short press the end button to quickly view the monitor interface. Here is the monitor. And you can long press push button to unlock the screen. The lock turns white and all the button functions will be restored. We also notice that there are four scale marks on the bottom or on the left and right edges of the screen. These scale marks represent the tree of aileron, elevator, throttle and rudder respectively. And when you push the trim lever, you can see the trim values on the screen. So these are all the information on the home page and press end button so you can enter the main menu. And there are four parts in total, including general settings, advanced settings, transmitter settings, receiver settings. You can rotate push button to move the cursor and press push button to confirm your selection. And then you can press end button to go back to the previous menu. For example, here are the functions in advanced settings. You can select the model type here with eight model types available, including fixed wing, jet wing, multi-rotor, helicopter, car, boat, tank, and robot. So that's all about the basic introduction of T16D, and we'll introduce other functions of it in the following videos.